This is Robert Waterman for Tungsten Tales at the Dutch Open in Veldhoven, Holland. Here with Michael Mansell, fresh from his victory and straight into the quarterfinals. How was that, Michael? A uh, great, um, a, a new job. Uh, Joe was going to be a tough customer. He'd, he'd beat John Part, three-time world champion. So, um, obviously, his confidence would have been up and uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game. Well, it was a bit of a run because in your last round you uh, beat Kim Hybrex, last year's winner of this tournament. That's right, and Kim beat me on the way in the quarterfinals till that run. He was superb, I have to say, and he beat me. Uh, I think he beat Simon Whitlock, and he beat uh, Brandon. We met Brandon in the final. He, he was, I think, that Sunday. There was nobody could touch him. He was outstanding. So uh, yesterday, for to beat somebody of that caliber and defend champion, I was uh, had a good night's sleep last night. So I had. You looking forward to the quarterfinals later? I, I am. I well, obviously, with the opportunity of uh, the, the way the draw works out, um, the chance of playing Brenton. So uh, I'm going to go now and uh, watch Brenton. I do hope he wins. I'm not going to be. There's no point in talking. I, ho I, ho I do hope to play Brenton. Yeah, I do indeed. But uh, is it, was it like going to be playing a friend? Uh, well, I suppose we'll worry about that whenever it happens, you know. But. Um, it's, look, we have played each other um, numerous times on the floor. Um, well, not so much on the floor, but at, at home in Ireland, um, as I say, I think it, it's just the two of us know each other's game, and it'll be a, there'll be a lot of respect. So, well, you know, because the two of us know as much as I mightn't be a name as big as Brenton's. Uh, I think Brenton definitely knows what I can what I can do. You know, so it it, it should be good. We're here in Holland at a sell-out tournament. What's the atmosphere like here? It's brilliant now, I have to say. Definitely, obviously, with the Dutch, uh, the way the darts is going in, in Holland at the minute, uh, Michael's number one in the world, uh, world champion. Um, the, the, they're, they're always going to make it bigger than it is. and uh, they, They've definitely jumped on board, and it's all part of uh, the atmosphere. It's great, so it now definitely is. All thanks to... Not just Michael, obviously Raymond, uh, uh, Vincent, and that. You know what I mean. It's it's the, the Holland love their darts, so they do. How does it compare to playing in the UK? Um, well, I suppose there's there's no, unfortunately, there's no European events, you know. But um, it's it's uh, I suppose the, the European crowds probably trying to get to the atmosphere of a Premier League and like I've been to a few from Premier League nights and they're unbelievable. So I think obviously the Europeans is getting that uh, live darts and uh, they're they're trying to create that atmosphere which is uh, great. Um, I suppose it's, everything is great whenever you're winning. <laughs> Have the crowds with you. Yeah, it is indeed. Well, good luck with the quarters. This is Robert Waterman for Tungsten Tales keeping you at the sharp end of world darts. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.